In this sports edit tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to add dramatic detail to your poster designs in just four easy steps. With our layer selected, go up to Filter and then Camera Raw Filter. The first thing we're going to do is increase the sharpening within our Detail tab. This is the first way we will add any type of details to the player's skin. And the second way to add detail is to alter clarity as well as texture. Another adjustment I will make in every single design that I do is I'll add vibrance. This adds color back into the skin. From there, you can turn down highlights, increase shadows, and decrease blacks. You can see what it looked like before, and here's the after. Now this does look really good, and this is where a lot of sports designers stop, but there's a lot of other things that we can do to make our design stand out. One of the ways is by adding highlights and shadows. So let's first start by adding a brightness and contrast layer. From there, we're going to decrease our brightness and increase our contrast. This will be our shadow layer and then hit command I to invert your mask. This is a unique trick that not a lot of people know about. If you double click on your image layer and then move the slider to the right, it shows you all the darkest points of your image. Now you may be asking, why is this important? Why are we doing this? So what this does is it creates a template for you to go to your paintbrush, make sure you're on white. And then what you can do is with a lower opacity, you can paint back on the shadows or the dark parts of your image. So once we double click and we take that slider off, you can see where we've added the shadows to your image. It's a slight effect, but it's the little stuff that really makes your image pop. All right, while I'm doing the exact same thing for the highlight portion of this design, I do want to tell you guys, if you aren't are subscribed, please consider doing so. I do a video like this every single week, and you guys don't want to miss out on any of them. All right, the next thing we're going to do is selective color. Now, selective color is one of those things that is a very subtle detail, but you can see how much of a difference it really makes. So go up to selective color, and we're going to be working in the yellows because that's skin tone. So if you add blacks back on, it makes your skin tone a little bit darker. And then if you get rid of the cyans, it makes it a little bit more red and realistic in my opinion. Also, on any jersey that I do, I go into the color of the jersey and then I'll add blacks on because it makes it a little bit darker. And then I wanna make the greens pop a little bit. You can see the before and after here, what it looks like a lot better. This last step, we're gonna go from this to this. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is press Shift, Alt, and Command E. This creates a single merged layer. And now we're gonna go back up into the Camera Raw Filter, and this is where designs either go from good to great, or they become really, really bad. So let's add clarity and texture, a little bit of vibrance, just to add back on some color to it, and then we're gonna create a black shadow around the outside and put back into some grains to make it more realistic. And everyone knows who subscribed to the channel that I love adding a distortion effect and then stretching it across my canvas. I just think it's one of the best and coolest ways to make your image pop. If you've been following step by step, this is what we started out with, and this is what we should have right now. Now that you guys have learned a little bit of how to manipulate your player's skin and shadows, Check out some of my design breakdowns to learn a little bit more to what goes into making a full graphic design.